another episode of the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. Hey, y'all, we promise you there's nothing better you could be doing with your time right now than being right here with us. Uh, I don't know, maybe some wine, a little Luther. Well, hold, hold, hold on, Kev. Now, I didn't say we could, could, could compete with Luther. That's, that's on a whole <laughs> other level right there. Baby uh, steps. Oh, baby steps. Okay. But, hey, we're glad you're hanging out with us once again. Uh, today, we're going to review the film Heaven is for Real. Uh, this film is rated PG, has a runtime of one hour and 40 minutes. Uh, this film is a drama, and it's about the true story of a small town pastor, uh, Todd Burpo, who struggles with how to share his young son Colton's near death experience. This movie was directed by Randall Wallace, who brought us Secretariat. Uh, he was also responsible for the Mel Gibson film We Were Soldiers. Uh, this movie stars Greg Kinnear, mm -hmm. Kelly Riley, Connor Corum, Thomas Hayden Church and the fantastic Margot Martindale. What do you say we take a look at the trailer? Let's do it. Mommy? Yes, Colton? Did you know I have a sister? You didn't know that Cassie's your sister? No, I have two sisters. You had a baby die in your tummy, didn't you? Honey, who told you I had a baby die in my tummy? In heaven, this little girl came up to me. She told me she died in your tummy. Your son had a near-death experience. He saw things that I can't really explain. I lifted up and I looked down. Mom was in one room, you were in another room, yelling at God. We've been here. I don't think we've been here before, pal. You had a grandpa named Pop, right? They died when I was about your age. He's very nice. You saw my grandfather? Where did you see him? In heaven. Is this him? Is this the man you saw? No, in heaven, everybody's young. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, at the risk of taking y'all to Sunday school, church! <laughs> <laughs> the, the Bible defines faith as the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. And this movie is truly a treatise on faith. Uh, this movie is thought-provoking. Uh, it challenges you to, to, to really question your ideas about faith, heaven and Christ religion in general. Uh, some will see it as subversive uh, while others will see it as more life affirming which is I think the beauty of this movie. Yeah absolutely I agree with you Kev. I mean for the believers and even for the those that aren't so sure or you know on the fence which you know probably all of us at some point in our lives have had some level of, of doubt right. uh, in life about our faith or what have you but what's so great about this film is it taps directly into that vein absolutely. and that's what makes it so powerful. Absolutely I agree. Um, this film gives whole new meaning to the term out of the mouths of babes uh, the acting is top-notch, it really is, uh, with nods to Greg Kinnear as Todd Burpo and to Margot Martindale, who to me is outstanding in anything that she does. Um, she was very good, and she plays a church member who has her own struggles with faith and God's will and the fairness of life and death. So, um, you know, I thought that the acting was very, very well done. Yeah, um, across the board, great cast in the film. Uh, Greg Kinnear, who's a, uh, a very strong character actor, mm -hmm. been out there for many, many years. Um, I thought he was awesome in this movie. I really enjoyed him. Uh, as uh, Kev mentioned, uh, Margot Martindale uh, was good as well. I mean, the things I've seen her in here recently, she plays a similar uh, type of character in, in, in my book, but uh, all of which, though, have been uh, very good. In this case, it's no different. Um, one of the things I really liked in this movie, y'all, uh, and Kev, is that, um, you know, we live in a world of discreditation. Uh, I feel like our society, we like to discredit everybody and everything. Is that, a, is that a word, discreditation? It I, is now. Well, it is now, discreditation. <laughs> Look it up, kid. Uh, but um, that's the society that we live in. Uh -huh. And what's so great about this movie is you have this little boy, this four-year-old, who has this great testimony of this right. life experience, this experience in heaven. And uh, that's something that no one can discredit. Right. And uh, that, that was the, the beauty of it. And I could really appreciate that. I also appreciate the fact that this film doesn't hammer you over the head with a message. Okay, uh, it leaves you enough to really kind of question how things happen and whether things are real or should have should have been perceived the way that they per were perceived. Um, it doesn't tell you heaven is for real. This is why it is for real. We have proof. 
It's mm -hmm. not like that, mm -hmm. okay? And that was something that I really liked. The only minus that I have to the film is that it does tend to drag on, drag on a little bit from time to time. As we are waiting to get from one peak to the other peak, there's a lot of uh, melodramatic valleys to go through. Yeah. Okay. We want to know, okay, well, what did the kid see when he got to heaven? <laughs> we want those reveals to come to us fast and furiously, and they're kind of dispersed or interspersed throughout the course of the film. Uh, and it tends to make things go a little slower for, for us as we're watching. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, there's probably two main things I'd have to say that I didn't care so much for the movie, and that's one of them. It does stall. It's an hour and 40 minutes, but I think you could probably take another 10 minutes off there and, and get in just under an hour and a half. Because, right. yeah, after uh, this young kid, Colton, has this near-death experience, and we start mm -hmm. seeing a little bit of, um, you know, what he saw, it's like, now what? Right, and we got some fluff in there that we could get rid of, and then also uh, something that I struggle with is uh, some of the visuals, the depictions of the the heaven, the experience in heaven. Right. None for me personally to challenge uh, this young man's experience, but I do challenge whether they should have actually been visually represented in the movie. Uh, just a, just a personal. Um, you know, complaint that I had, but other than that, right. uh, I, th I thought this movie was uh, was well done. And Kev, what do you say we throw some points on it? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, this movie is thought provoking, it's challenging, it will stick with you for a while after you've seen it. I know that my wife and I had uh, very in depth conversations about it. She's read the book that the movie is based on, I have not, so she had some perspective that I didn't even glean from having watched the movie. Um, but we both thought that it was very well represented. I would give this movie a 7 out of 10. All right. <laughs> hey, I thought this movie was uh, wonderful uh, on so many levels. It's a great message. It's a story of hope, of faith, of comfort. Um, it's a great depiction of community. Right. Uh, Kev, That's a good you know, point. just to see how do people interact, you know, in a community. Everybody's going through something, everybody's dealing. And to see just, you know, peel back that layer to see what's going on, you know, even down to the pastor. Right. Oh, personally, you know, I was, would, you know, have made the assumption of, hey, the pastor's not going to have any problems. He has a direct line to God. What's up, Lord? You know, yeah, just the backbone, the right. backbone to God. Just can call up the Lord and everything's all good. And in reality, that's not the case. Right. Uh, even he has questions. And I just I felt like this film did a great job of telling that story on the, on the big screen. And, and I thought it was really reassuring that in this in this this age that we live in where everybody's just in it for themselves. No one ever really bands together anymore mm -hmm. like like we used to do in the old days. Yeah. Everybody just, you know, they're in it for themselves. To see these people, the whole community, like you said, come together, that was very life affirming. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh what do I give this film? What else but 7 out of 10. <laughs> Stop copying me. Hey, that's what it is. So, hey, y'all, that is our show for you today. Uh, be sure to like us on Facebook. Uh, you can search us and find us by searching The Movie Brothers. Or you can follow us on Twitter, at The Movie Brothers. And that is brothers. You, <laughs> the, you gotta have that uh in Not there. Not brothers, okay, brothers. Yeah. Okay. So be sure to do that and check, it, check us out. Uh, I'm Ant, this is Kev. We are the Movie Brothers, and this is the place where we bring you nothing but the real on the real. Peace.